Look what we've got today, the brand new iPhone 12 in purple. They just announced this at their spring loaded event. I'm so excited about this because do you know what my favorite color is other than pink and black? Purple. They did have a purple phone previously. It was the iPhone 11, which we have here. And not gonna lie to you, I forgot which phone this was. I was like, was this a 10R? Is this a 10 what? It is the 11. I did in fact confirm with Google. So I'm excited to see what this color looks like in comparison to this one. Oh, 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 okay. It's kind of a very similar purple to our other purple friend. It's like a little bit more saturated. Like if you were in Photoshop and you just, you know, opened up the saturation and you were just like, whoop, that's what you get. Okay, inside the box, we've got the usual suspects. We've got our USB-C to lightning cable and SIM card ejector and a little Apple sticker. And here's our little phone. Here we go. Like a brand new phone, like there's nothing better than a new iPhone. I like that the iPhone 12 went back to the squared edges. So you guys can see here on the iPhone 11, the difference between those edges. I like the squared off edges so much more because I do feel like you get a little bit more screen real estate and they were able to kind of make it a little bit thinner. Like this just feels kind of like a little chunky. This feels slim and nice, but I really, really like this color. Look at that, look at the difference. This could quite possibly be my shortest YouTube video that I've ever posted. <laughs> that phone's like, it wants to be purple, but it's not like committing to be purple. You're right, but the thing is, this fit in sort of with the theme of all the rest of the colors, because they were more of like the lighter pastel colors, but this one also kind of fits into the theme of all of the colors that we have now. So we've got the purple, the blue, the green, the product red, the white, and the black. Actually, I happen to have the green here. Like they're kind of just keeping them all in sort of that same color family. Here's the black iPhone 12. You can't even see it on my desk, but it's there. <laughs> this purple also comes in the iPhone 12 mini, which this has been a really fun phone for me. If I'm going on a hike or something, this is always the phone that I take unless I want to have some zoom photos. But if I know I'm just going on a hike, just purely for exercise, not to create content. This is the phone that I take. It's just such a small device that it fits in my pocket and it's almost like I don't even have it there, but I do. So here it is in size comparison to the 12. It really is significantly smaller. And let's show you guys what this looks like in comparison to the 12 Pro Max. Like this is such a big phone. So to go from this phone to this phone when I'm going on a hike or something is significant. Look at you guys, you guys are like a happy little family. So I'd love to know from you guys, what do you guys think of the new purple color? I think it's really, really beautiful. I like the fact that it is way more saturated than the previous iPhone 11 color. I hate when the Yerba is gone. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> So this is the purple case that they came out with. I love MagSafe. The MagSafe cases, everything about them are awesome. Let's open this up. I love the color. It matches my body. This was, of course, I planned this. I coordinated. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. I like that it's a darker kind of purple too, so it's a little more contrasty. Hey, Tyler, can you see me? No. Look what I got. This is the MagSafe Duo Charger. This has been one of my most favorite little accessories in a really long time. I love that it just folds up just like that. I take this with me pretty much everywhere I go. I haven't been traveling as much as I used to, but I did do a three week road trip and this has been amazing because I take this, I bring my lightning cable charger and I'm set to go. I charge my phone, I charge my Apple Watch, I don't know, it's like, kind of like a, like a big like wafer cracker or something that you just wanna, don't do that COVID. Also, this has absolutely nothing to do with this video, but I just bought this. This is an aura band, and this is something that will allow you to be able to track your body composition. It'll tell you if you're dehydrated, and it's kind of just an added little bonus to be able to get more metrics about what's happening with your body. So I'm super excited about this. I just got it. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna check it out as well. And I even tested it out on a recent episode of our podcast. If you wanna check that out, it's youtube.com slash same brain. I've been enjoying this and I think one of the most important things, especially in this day of not being able to get into doctor's offices, 
just to be able to kind of monitor your own health. So in case there is something going on, you'll be able to have this backlog of data to be able to take to your doctor and be like, look, this is what's normal. This is not normal. Help, something's wrong. <laughs> anyway, I do plan on doing a video about this entirely, but I kind of want to just test it out a little bit more and I don't know, get more data about this, this vessel of mine. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. This was just a quick video. I wanted to show you the new iPhone 12 in the purple with this beautiful new purple case. I love this color. I love the color of the case. And I guess that's, that's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed this video or if you want to see some more videos about some cool Apple tech that's coming out, be sure to hit subscribe, like this video and leave a comment and let me know what your favorite iPhone 12 color is currently. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.